Hey, hey, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Run. Um, as you can tell, I'm not going to be using save states to abuse it or anything, but I will to save my position between runs. Also, if you notice any discontinuity in here, it's because I totally overwrote the save state and had to run back to this point in the game. Now, starting back, we just picked up the missiles from here, and we're off. You recognize where we're at. You get back up here. Now that we have the missiles, we can get through this door. It takes five missiles to get through that door. So don't screw it up. We also go run around and try to pick up more, which is never any fun. And right about there is a power up. Can't quite reach it yet. Uh, I gotta get the high jump boots. Uh, once you get the bomb jump, it's possible to bomb jump your way up there, although difficult. And if I'm not mistaken, with, you know, Using your tools and frame assist, it might be possible to get a wall jump here. I don't remember exactly. Anyway, more missiles. So every time you get a missile pack, it boosts your maximum missiles by five and gives you five missiles. So I have five right now, and ten is my max. You've probably noticed by now I haven't run any enemies. Well, that is about to change, right? Well, crap, next screen. Or a couple of screens. Man, I'm off. It's been a while. I haven't played this game in years. And here we go. Oh no, enemies. Yeah, they shoot at you and jump around and see they're dropping missile upgrades because I need them. I also need health. The big ones give you 20 health like the one right there. Now smaller ones if we have to end any give you five. Uh, what's really cool about this game is it'll only drop what you need so if you need nothing sometimes it'll drop health anyway but if you're full health and need missiles it'll only drop missiles for you. It's quite handy. And this room can be a real pain in the butt because it's very easy to just miss and fall way down you'll notice I'm jumping straight up and then moving so that I do this number as opposed to the spinning like that. Difference being when you're spinning and you let go of the button you'll always fall at an angle like that so it's harder to control. And in this room it's much easier to control straight jumping. These dudes and ow. They'll, uh, these guys will jump across the room. I don't remember if we've seen it yet or not but I'll watch him go and see there you go. Ow. Give me that. Yeah wall jumping is a very nice thing. I'll run into something later that'll actually show you, like, you know, it'll teach you to wall jump, sort of. It's, uh, so if you don't already know how, there's something in here that will point it out to you. And just a head nod up the room. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, except I run into these guys. If you ever watch any tool assisted runs of this, which I like, I used to watch tool. Yeah, no. They, they do this up the side, and it's crazy. Oh, they do it. It'll pop out and shoot things and keep going. Okay, this is a lot slower than it should be. I'm just gonna keep jumping. It's been way too long. I used to be able to do that, like, easy. See, and even once you're full health, it doesn't really do anything with your health. And we're up. And I've, again, completely forgot to look at what time. But oh well. Now back here. Let's see if we can make it in here now that we've got the Morph Ball. Yay! And no, oh, damn it. I don't need the bombs. Oh shit, it's been way too long since I played this. I could have sworn we could get through there. So, remember, it takes five to open that. When it's a uh, select, you know, at the top there it selects things. We'll have more things to select from later. You want to hit select again to move off of them or you'll end up shooting more missiles, which is never good. This is where L and R come in handy. You can just sit here and shoot. I hate this guy. I totally forget what's at the end of this room. We're about to find out. It is... Oh, map. Yeah, this thing will give you... Uh, it'll fill in a bunch of your map and let you see what the hell is around. Now, to note, it doesn't fill in everything. There's still lots of secret areas and stuff. This is Criteria. Meridia, Red Ship, Brinstar, and I don't know if there's any links to Norfair on this one. Nope, doesn't look like it. And then there's Torian, which is around somewhere. But, uh, yep. That's your map. 
start where start there it is oh that reminds me i haven't even pointed out yet yeah you got a menu you can do start you can see the map um r down there at the bottom will let you see what you've got i've got morphing ball that's all i've got um you can see there's a lot of upgrades uh, i'll talk about supply tanks later when i pick one up so so we can shoot down that thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back here. I don't need anything, but I insist. Eee. Try to take as little damage as possible. Let's see. That's how long that's gonna last, you know, really. That's gonna last, you know, probably not even the end of this video. But hey. It's worth a shot. I also you check the map out in the top right. See so the S up there is a, is a save station. Uh they'll probably only ever use this one, because uh, you know, I'll just save state between recordings i've played this game off enough that i really don't actually plan on dying to anything if i do then oops um i'll probably just load the save state i had um yeah a little cheap but you know this is let's play i'm not playing it for real i don't see any you know i'd rather make it nicer on you guys to watch it and there goes my taking damage well damn it but uh so I'm gonna do little things like that. Don't you know? Don't blame me for it. Still on the wall. We can't get through. And oh god, I forget, I forget what those things are called. But they're I hate them. They suck. So those little, little things they drop, little rocks. Yeah, those hurt me too. And we can go down here now. All right. Let's see what's through here. Oh, yeah, this is always fun. I don't ever bother to kill everything. I just run and shoot. The stuff dies. Kind of cool. And more missile door. And now we get the bombs. Urgh. There is a way. I don't know that it's actually possible in real time, like humanly possible, but it's possible if you use frame advance to get these and get back out of this door. Yeah. Totally not happening. Let me out, let me out. Yeah, it's the first mini boss, if you will. Is uh interesting. Oh, missed. Now so yeah, if you need refill you can shoot these things, they'll drop health and missiles and whatever else. Yeah, the best way I found it is just get missiles and shoot them with those because yeah, it doesn't take any time. Try to shoot him with your normal gun does work. It just takes forever. And I actually skipped a spot. There's a spot where his head'll come off and he'll be running around with just the body and arms and legs. Uh, at that point, I think it's basically one missile from death, or like four or five shots. It's not a whole lot. Um, I'm actually going to clear this room out, because I want to show you something. There is a couple of things you can do, and uh, this is about the end of the video. You can bomb jumping, so you can plant three bombs at a time. Um, only three. You can't ever do any more than three. I just want to start some bomb. There's something you can do bomb jumping. You place a bomb and let it go off. You bounce. If you time it just right, let's see if I can do this fail. If you have it just right, you can actually bomb jump and gain infinite altitude. There we go. And if you do it, no, oh, I thought I missed that one. Yeah, I missed it. But if you time it just right, and I haven't done this in years, I used to be able to do that and just bounce around forever like that. You see, that's one way of doing it is to, whatever, I, I suck. What I was just doing, plant one just above the previous one with the right timing, and you'll just keep bouncing. Um, there's another way to do it, and it's much faster vertically, but much harder to do, and it's you plant one, and then, I can't, it's, let me try again, you know, bounce up, like that, holy crap, that's the best I've ever done that, you see it's much faster vertical, and there are ways, there is all sorts of crazy crap, you can bounce diagonally by moving to the side and letting it blow you sideways, and if you time it just right, you can actually move in almost an exactly horizontal manner, it's, it's nuts. Um, I can't do any of that. Not like this. Frame advance, I probably could. I'm not that good at it anyway. It's kind of a trick to these, because if they bounce you, you slow down. If you time it just right, you'll kind of just blow right through. It's a little bit faster. It's a trick they use in tool assisting. Um, yeah, I think... I'll come down here and I'll let you through there. But I remember there was this door down here. That we couldn't go through. Because we didn't have the bombs. But, that will be saved for next time. So, this is Kortoth. I will see you guys later.